Crafted with a well-defined goal of ensuring exceptional tactical and strategic maneuverability, the Combat Vehicle 90 or CV-90 emerges as a preeminent infantry fighting vehicle globally and have been employed by various national armed forces, including NATO. On the other hand, the U.S. Army has recently introduced its inaugural significant armored vehicle in over 20 years, known as the M-10 Booker Combat Vehicle. This infantry assault vehicle is expected to elevate the lethality of ground forces, offering soldiers enhanced protection on the battlefield. So between CV-90 and M-10 Booker, which one is more formidable and efficient? The CV-90 versus M-10 Booker. The CV-90, also known as Stridsverden 90, represents a strategically designed armored combat vehicle family developed from 1984 to the early 1990s to fulfill the operational needs of the Swedish Army. This project was a collaborative effort between Saab Bofors Dynamics and Haglunds. The CV-90 made its debut in Swedish military service in 1993. In contrast, the M10 Booker is a new tracked combat vehicle currently under development by General Dynamics Land Systems for the U.S. Army. It is derived from the GDLS Griffin II armored fighting vehicle and was selected as the winner of the Mobile Protected Firepower Program in June 2022. The U.S. Army plans to establish M10 battalions and incorporate them into its light infantry brigade combat teams. Both vehicles have the capability to be adapted into light tanks, essentially offering greater versatility in their use. Mobility. Given their comparable weight characteristics, both the CV-90 and M10 Booker employ engines with similar power outputs. The CV-90 is powered by the Scania DP-16i diesel engine, which comes in various versions with at least 1,000 horsepower. In its modernized version, the engine is paired with the X300 gearbox, although specific details about the number of gears are not publicly available. However, older iterations of the CV-90 were known to have two overdrive gears. The CV-90 can run at a maximum speed of 43 miles per hour. On the other hand, the M10 Booker is equipped with an 800 horsepower 8V199 power pack MTU diesel engine and an Allison cross-drive transmission system. It also features a six-speed transmission provided by the German company Renk specifically the HSWL-256, which includes six forward gears and six reverse gears. The vehicle is capable of reaching a maximum road speed of 45 miles per hour. Power and protection. The CV-90 vehicles are equipped with advanced stealth technology and can be integrated with additional systems such as the Battlefield Management System, defensive aid suite, and friend or foe identification. These vehicles typically have a crew of three. The latest variant of CV-90 can be equipped with a modular turret, offering a range of armament options, including 30-40mm and 35-50mm automatic cannons and a 120mm smoothbore tank cannon. The turret can also house anti-tank guided missile launchers like the Spike LR, along with a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, which can be fitted with a 40mm automatic grenade launcher or a laser weapon. The M10 Booker in turn shares some similarities with the M1 Abrams main battle tank. The turret is structured based on the M1 Abrams tank and features the M1A2 SEPV3 fire control system and commander's independent thermal viewer. Different from the CV-90, the M10 is operated by a crew of four and features a powerful 105mm direct fire cannon as the primary armament, which is based on the American M35. The 105mm cannon is capable of firing armor-piercing, discarding sabot and high-explosive rounds. However, it has a coaxially mounted 7.62mm machine gun like the CV-90. Additionally, a 12.7mm heavy machine gun is affixed to the commander's hatch 
and two sets of four smoke grenade launchers are mounted on each side at the front of the turret. In terms of protection, both M10 Booker and CV90 provide enhanced mine resistance and are capable of withstanding 14.5 mm armor-piercing rounds from any direction. However, it is believed that all CV90 models and those produced later are capable of withstanding 30 mm armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabbat ammunition. While for the M10 Booker, it is equipped with additional armor panels and under-vehicle protection to guard against improvised explosive devices. Variants. The CV-90 family encompasses a range of configurations with the original CV-90 variant referred to as CV-9040 or CV-90 Mark Zero. There are also export versions designed by BAE Systems for international customers including the CV-90 Mark I, CV-90 Mark II, CV-90 Mark III, and CV-90 Mark IV. As of January 2021, a total of 15 CV-90 variants were in active service across seven countries – Denmark, Estonia, Finland, Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. The number of delivered CV-90 vehicles had reached over 1,300. It is also important to note that on the 19th of August 2023, Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson and President Volodymyr Zelensky formalized their commitment to strengthen cooperation between Sweden and Ukraine regarding the combat vehicle 90 by signing a statement of intent. In a press conference, Christensen emphasized that this agreement serves as a tangible demonstration of the mutual aspiration of Sweden and Ukraine to boost collaboration in areas such as the production, training, and maintenance of the Combat Vehicle 90 system. On the other hand, while there are no variants available of the M10 Booker vehicle at this time, during the operational test and evaluation in 2020, it was reported that a prototype of what was then the M10 Booker MPF vehicle faced several issues. These included instances of toxic fumes and airflow problems. However, Major General Glenn Dean, the program executive officer, mentioned that extensive engineering and testing had been conducted and that these issues have been resolved. The program's initial contract of M10 Booker encompasses the production of 96 low-rate initial production vehicles, with anticipated deliveries of the initial are scheduled for November, and initial operational testing is planned for late 2024. So do you think the CV90 series can be rivaled with the M10 Booker? Let us know what you think in the comment below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.